My name is Didier Perrin. I'm uh, the technical director of uh, F2 and in charge of the development of this new car. I think that having a turbocharged engine is just different. Obviously, driver will maybe need some time to adapt, but it was crucial for us to uh, have a turbocharged engine in the new car. Because, as you know, we want to be as close as possible to F1. We are not able to uh, build up an hybrid car because it would be too expensive and too complicated uh, for this level of competition. But, uh, and it would cost too much. But we've chosen to get a turbocharged engine because with a turbocharged engine you have a lot of torque and you are closer, the, the, the engine behaves a bit more like the F1 engine. The F1 engine are turbocharged and hybrid, so they have a massive torque at low RPM. And the best way to reproduce it without an hybrid car is to get a turbocharged engine. So it makes, it, it makes the, 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 the driving skill a bit different, uh, but it's closer to F1 than it was with the previous car. Well, obviously here we are testing during winter and the temperature are pretty low, but the car has been designed to be able to race up to 36 degrees of ambient temperature. So it's always something that we consider because we know that we will have to race in Bahrain, in Abu Dhabi, in maybe in Indonesia, Brazil, we don't know. So uh, one of the criteria when we designed the car was its ability to race up to 36 degrees of ambient temperature. So up to that, le at that level of temperature, there is no performance degradation and it should run fine. Uh, our target in terms of lap time was to be at the same level as the previous car. But knowing that the car is heavier, the car is heavier for uh, two main reasons. First reason why the car is heavier is the uh, safety levels. We've introduced uh, uh, an update on the, on the safety, we want to be at the same level as F1. So we have a, a, a chassis that uh, incorporates uh, you know, protection panels. We have the halo, and this makes the car heavier. The other reason why the car is heavier is that with the turbocharged engine, the, the engine environment is a bit heavier. So overall, the car weights, let's say 50 kilograms more than its predecessor. But despite that extra weight, we wanted to have the same pure performance, so the same lap time. So we, we got it with a bit of extra downforce, like F1. F1 have higher downforce, we have higher downforce. F1 has turbocharged engine, we have a turbocharged engine. F1 has improved safety, we have improved safety. So overall, with uh, a little bit of a little bit more downforce and the, 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 the torque of the engine that delivers power at lower rev, we will reach the same level of performance despite the, uh, the weight of the car that increased. Our main targets are always to provide two things. First, a good tool, a good tool for the driver to show their skill. Secondly, a car that is able to provide a good show with uh, spectacular races, a lot of overtaking. These are our targets. I hope that we will reach them. I'm confident, but we will need to wait for the first race in Bahrain to have the confirmation.